Welcome back to Nation at 5. There's some breaking news that's now coming in. There's a big development in space cooperation between India and Russia ahead of President Vladimir Putin's India visit. Uh, Russia's premier space agency, Roscosmos, has uh, now confirmed that the two nations' long-standing partnership in space will continue and that key agreements will be signed day after tomorrow. These will focus on rocket engines, space engines and collaboration aboard the Russian orbital station. Yes, uh, India and Russia are great partners in space and uh, day after tomorrow we are going to sign some documents which we will announce after, right after it. Uh, they are connected to activity in space uh, like uh, space engines, engines for rockets and uh, activity on the orbit uh, with our Russian orbital station and BES which will exist after International Space Station. Now, there are several deals that could be inked during this visit of the Russian president, all of which is going to be tracked here on CNN News 18. In fact, uh, it's not just India that is eyeing a lot out of this visit. Russia, too, is hoping to get its lion's share. In fact, my colleague Siddhant Mishra spoke with the prime news presenter at Russia today. Listen in to what he had to say about this upcoming meeting, this upcoming visit of the Russian president, and what is it that Moscow is keenly watching out for. How people in Moscow are viewing this visit of President Putin to India after the gap of five years. This this is a tradition in a relationship, right. annual summits. Uh, this would be the 23rd annual summit yeah. taking place between the two countries. How people in Moscow are viewing this visit? I think people in Moscow and I think across the entire Russian Federation in general view this visit very much in the same light that Vladimir Putin does. Yeah. Vladimir Putin refers to Prime Minister Narendra Modi as my dear friend. Yeah. And Modi has referred to Putin as and Russia as an all-weather ally yeah. and a trusted friend as well. Yeah. So there is not just a friendship here, but there's a strategic partnership as well. I think the general consensus in Russia is very, very positive regarding the friendship and strategic partnership shared between two of some of the biggest members now of the multipolar world, BRICS members as well, who have forged their place on the global stage today. Mm -hmm. Rory, also would like to understand uh, from you, let's first talk about the bonhomie between President Putin and Prime Minister Modi. So I did this, uh, I reported uh, this uh, on my channel the other day. Uh, it was Prime Minister Modi's birthday. So several world leaders uh, called him, sent message, message, uh, you know, ex extending congratulations and wishing him happy birthday. Uh, but President Putin, wished Prime Minister Modi four times in 24 hours. Uh, he called, there was a message from Kremlin, then uh, during his meeting with bureaucrats, he, yeah. in the opening remarks, he again wished Prime Minister Modi. Talk to us a little bit about this special Bonhomian relationship and the comfort uh, between these two leaders. You know, it's not just the body language, it's not just the embraces yeah. and the hugs. There is genuinely a deep level of trust between them. And I think given the way the world is today, because many people say the world is splitting in half. Yeah. They're saying you've got this side of the world now, you've got this side of the world now, you've got your G7 and then you've got your BRICS, for example. Yeah. And as I said before, the world is changing so much that those who are on the front lines of the changes are embracing each other okay. more than ever. Oh. But it's not just a friendship. Hmm. I mean, for example, the relationship, not just between Modi and Putin, but between India and Russia, it goes back not just years, but it goes back decades. It goes back yeah. to the Soviet Union yeah. and beyond.